Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an SQLite server on Ubuntu host it on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed SQLite server. So from this marketplace listing, simply click on get it now and then click on continue. And after that, you would be brought to this product page from where you need to click on create. And then you will be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have, choose a resource group by creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call mine as SQLite. After that, choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. And then make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the size according to your requirements. Now for the authentication type, I'm going to go with the SSH public key authentication. And at the end, simply give yourself a username. Leave the network settings as default and simply click on review plus create. And then wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation process is done, you need to click on create. But this time around, you would be prompted to download the private key and create resource. So download the private key in a secure folder because this is the private key that we will be using to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. And after that, you need to simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, what you want to do is that you want to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. For that, simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page, click on connect and choose SSH. After that, simply copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell and then replace this private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path for the private key, simply hit enter and once you are prompted, type in yes and then hit enter once more. After that, this command prompt is going to connect to the SSH service of our virtual machine. Now inside this SSH terminal, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to verify the installation of SQLite server. For that, simply type in the command SQLite 3 space hyphen hyphen version and then hit enter. As you can see that we are currently running the version 3.31.1. Now to open up the SQLite shell, simply type in the command SQLite 3 and then hit enter. And if you want to exit from this shell, simply type in the command dot exit or dot quit and then hit enter. Now, if you want to create a new database or maybe if you want to open up an already existing database, then simply type the command SQLite 3 space the name of the database that you want to create or open, let's say cars.db and then follow it up by dot db and then hit enter. This time around, this SQLite shell is connected to the database cars.db. To verify this connection, simply type in the command dot databases and then hit enter. So you can see that the connection is with cars.db. Now if you want to create a new table inside this database, what you can do is that you can click the link in the description box to come to this step by step blog post guide on how to set up SQLite server on Ubuntu on Azure. And from here you have this command to create a table for cars including its ID, car make, car model and car size. So simply copy this command and paste it inside the SQLite shell and then hit enter. Once that is done, if you want to insert data inside this table, we have the insert command. So if you head back over to the blog post, you see that we have the command insert into followed up by the table name, which in our case is cars, followed up by the keyword values, followed up by parentheses in which we enclose the data for each individual column. So if you want to insert some dummy data inside the cars table, simply copy these three records and paste them inside the SQL shell and then hit enter. Now we have successfully inserted data in our cars table. Now if you want to retrieve data from the cars table, what you do is that you use this command which is select asterisk from cars which means to select all of the data from the car and display it onto the terminal. So paste this command in the SQLite shell and then hit enter. Now as you can see that we get the ID of the car, the make of the car, the car model and the length of the car. And at the end, if you want to exit from this SQLite shell, you can use the command dot quit or dot exit and then hit enter. Now this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up SQLite server on Ubuntu on Azure. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.